Direction Oakland Evening. Tap to Diesel, and Diesel is steel. Let me try from the top again. My mind is scaring me right now. Somebody shine a little light down. Tell me, is there anybody out there feeling like I do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sing it, brother! Yo, this is a leap of faith. I got heart, you can count on that. It's all mind over matter. When you hit rock bottom, you gon' bounce right back. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off. And you start from ground zero. And if you need any help, just believe in yourself. You are your own hero. Look at your cape in the wind. Everything you do is cinematic. Light speed through time and space. And with a pinch of magic, you can rip the fabric. But I guess it all starts with you. Cause getting here was pretty hard to do. There's pitfalls and brick walls. But when you know there's no spoon, it's pretty hard to My lose. Shot, hit the white, a ball in the pocket, winning right. Winning. Well, look at what Charlie did. I can't build my dream in this party, bitch. Cause life is like a race, but then you get a little pace and have a bender and you fall like you were tripping on your legs. This is my life, and I don't like to cuss y'all, but everyone here can go politely fuck off. Here's what I should do, good food, do. Hit the surf, it'll put me in a good mood. If I, if I believe, I can achieve. Trying to be the best version of me that I can be, so remember. When your thoughts are wild, only you hold the key to unlock your smile. Do I keep the fight up? Best bet I do. It means the world that I found a best friend like you. Come on. To honor America with the performance of the National Anthem, eight-time Grammy Award winner, Chris Stapleton. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light? Oh, so pray. Broad stripes 
and bright stars through the perilous fire. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to CFC 50 Calf Mania. And we are starting this great event off the four year anniversary event off with the Slump versus Dark Lord. Nice elbow from the Slump. Both these fighters going right after it here. Nice hook combination from the Slump. Head kick attempt. Looking for axe kick was Dark Lord. And that hook just dropped Dark Lord by the slump. Nice hooks from Dark Lord. Returning hook from the slump. Nice body shot. Nice uppercuts from both these competitors. Staying in tight. Superman, nice hook from Dark Lord, drops the slump. The slump gets back up to his feet here. Nice one, two. Nice overhand from the slump. Head kick attempt was blocked, throwing another head kick. Nice combination from Dark Lord drops the slump down. Dark Lord is content to keep this fight standing on the feet. Dark Lord is taking their time now after going balls to the walls earlier in this round. Nice hook from Dark Lord. Push kick by the slump. Dark Lord trying to land his own push kick, but it was blocked. Nice slip of that jab from Dark Lord. Nice head kick from Dark Lord drops the slump. The slump has got to be more careful throwing these big heavy strikes. He's starting to get countered now by Dark Lord. Dark Lord is getting the timing down of the slump. Nice overhand, and that is it. Nice work from Dark Lord. Getting the victory here tonight at CFC 50 is Calf Mania, baby. And that's what we want to see all night is finishes. Nice work from Dark Lord starting things off right here at CFC 50. There you see that, that front kick that uh, the slump tried to throw there. And bam, nice overhand lands perfectly on the slump's chin. Knocking him out cold. Calling it a night and Dark Lord is victorious here tonight. At Calf Mania, baby. I've just gotten word that Calf Kings is here. 
the official betting site of the CFC. So what are you waiting for? Download the Calf Kings Daily Fantasy app now and bet on your favorite fighters. All right, here we are getting right back to the action. Make sure you drop a like, give a sub, follow, do it all. It is highly appreciated, but we are back here now with Mighty Matthias versus Automatic. Both of these fighters have been on the After Dark scene. Mighty Matthias has been doing good work at After Dark. And he is looking to take things a step further here at CFC 50 at Calf Mania. Four-year anniversary event for the CFC. Started up in March 2020. And it is March 2024. And we still here, baby. We still here. Nice leg kick from Matthias. Nice return leg kick from Automatic. Nice uppercut hook combination from Mighty Matthias. Dropping Automatic down here, landing big shots, postured up here. But well, Automatic is still in this fight. You gotta think Automatic is gonna wanna get back up to his feet now. But Mighty Matthias lets uh, Automatic back up. Nice sprawl by Automatic. Good takedown defense. Saw that one coming. Nice body kick from Matthias. Couple of knees from Automatic. Getting some clinch work in. Nice shot to the body from Mighty Matthias. Automatic is trying to fake those takedowns now to keep Mighty Matthias guessing when he actually throws the real one. Nice knees. Mighty Matthias doing a good job covering up. Nice leg kick from Automatic. Automatic looking for that pullback counter. Overhand attempt. Mighty Matthias covers up well here. Showing good defense here so far as Mighty Matthias. Both fighters rocking the blue. Nice knee from Mighty Matthias. Hurt automatic there. Looking for another flying knee is Mighty Matthias. Mighty Matthias is filling the knees tonight. Shooting in for a takedown. Let's see if automatic can complete this one. The cage stops him from doing so. Nice work from Mighty Matthias staying upright here. 30 seconds remaining here in this first round. Nice uppercut hurts Automatic here. Showing some good head movement in that little sequence. Did Automatic shooting in for another takedown. And it is stuffed once again. First round is in the books. Oh, we here right back to the action. Make sure you like, drop a follow, share the stream, share this event. Let's make it a good one. Getting right back to the action. Nice knee from Mighty Matthias. Nice straight from Mighty Matthias. Has automatic in trouble here. Nice uppercut sits automatic down. Automatic gets back up to his feet, but you got to think he is in big trouble right now. Eating a lot of unanswered shots. Automatic is desperately shooting for a takedown, and he gets it here. Nice work. That's one thing you can say about Automatic. He never gave up going for that takedown. He never let uh, Mighty Matthias blocking all those takedowns discourage him from shooting in and going for it. But let's see what he can do with it here right now. Mighty Matthias has already reversed the position and gets back up to his feet. Failed attempt by Automatic to keep this fight to the canvas. Let's see if he can get it back down there again. 
Nice jab from Automatic. Nice one-two from Mighty Matthias. The battle of the blue. Da ba dee ba boo da da ba dee da ba da. Nice uppercut sits automatic down. Nice combination. So he's another uppercut. And this could be it right here. And that is a wrap. Mighty Matthias gets it done here tonight. Man, this man is on a crazy nice win streak. You got to think a big fight is on the horizon for that man. Definitely an upcoming prospect to look out for. Mighty Matthias, remember the name. Because he is definitely going places here in the CFC. Working his way up the ladder. Taking out Automatic here tonight at CFC 50 Calf Mania, baby. Four-year anniversary event. Let's go. And there you have it. The winner is Mighty Matthias. Congrats. Be on the lookout for that man's next fight. Mighty Matthias. Mm -mm -mm. Don't mind me. I'm just enjoying the liquid gold of the CAF community with a 40% alcohol rate. One and a half ounces of fresh apple juice and containing three ounces of ginger beer. The softest and the smoothest drink in the whole community. If you want to be like Kane Brozilla, drink rich. Drink Torzilla. Out now in all places, the Torzilla show has begun. And it's better with ice. All right, here we go. Next fight underway. We have Looney, Lil Day versus Rampage. Nice head movement from Looney Dave. Looney Dave already working to the body. That is very smart because you definitely want to wear your opponent's gas tank down, especially for the later rounds of the fight. That could definitely pay off, pay off for... Looney Dave, nice spin it back fist from Rampage here. Nice spin it back fist return from Looney Dave. Both these fighters are content with staying in the pocket here. Nice hook combination. Nice knee from Looney Dave. Nice straight from Looney Dave. Sits Rampage down. Nice push kick. Oh, that knee would have been nasty if that would have landed, but Rampage shot in just in time. Looney Dave saw that takedown coming, just that knee did not come up fast enough for him. showing off his grappling ability here controlling Looney Dave on the canvas here stretching him out flattening him out postured up here raining down shots Looney Dave has got to get out of this bad position and now in half guard here is Rampage landing a couple of nice shots to the body and the head here on the ground Nice reversal from Looney Dave. Now Looney Dave is in half guard. Landing pop shots here on Rampage. Rampage throwing shots from the bottom as well. Postured up here is Looney Dave. Getting a couple of strikes off here. Postured up, landing big strikes here again. Rampage needs to cover up here. But 
Looking to sink in a choke here. Let's see if he can get it. He's got Looney's Dave head in there tight. Looney Dave pops out, though. Ends up in half guard position. Back in the full mount now is Looney Dave. Rampage landing nice short elbows from the bottom. Looney Dave has got to be careful because you do not want to get cut open in this fight and have that be a main source target for your opponent because the doctor can come in and stop the fight. Now in full mount, landing some shots. Rampage lets Looney Dave back up. I've just gotten word that Calf Kings is here. The official betting site of the CFC. So what are you waiting for? Download the Calf Kings Daily Fantasy app now and bet on your favorite fighters. Here we are, second round underway. Make sure you stay tuned in for Aztecs return here to the CFC versus Thomas Randall. That is the prelim headliner of the evening. And it will be coming up shortly. Well, a little later tonight, I should say. Not shortly, because we in for a long one tonight, baby. We in for a long one. Nice elbow from Looney Dave. Nice combination from Looney Dave showing off that boxing. Rampage is in big trouble here up against the K. Nice judo throw. Hip toss. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you prefer. Looney Dave just did that. Now stretching out Rampage here. Posturing up. Landing some shots. That cut is getting nasty on Rampage here. Blood is leaking all over the canvas now. Rampage is in big trouble facing adversity here. Let's see what Looney Dave can do with, do with this position here. Look like Looney Dave is trying to set Rampage up for submission. Rampage doing a good job of scrambling out of the way. Getting back in a full guard now. Nice short elbow from Rampage. And another short elbow landing two of them now. Looney Dave has got to be careful. Because he can end up having a cut and him and Rampage could be cut brothers right now. Another short elbow from Rampage. Postured up here. Nice elbow, downward elbow from Looney Dave. And another elbow lands to that cut. Rampage has got to be careful of that cut. Nice uh, reversal from Rampage. Uses Looney Dave's momentum and ends up in full mount. Now in half guard now is Rampage. Switching to side control. Now in half guard. Back to full guard here. Postured up. Landing big strikes on Looney Dave. Back in half guard here. Posturing up. Nice hammer fist from Rampage. Side control here. Looking for the crucifix position. But Looney Dave is not letting Rampage have it. Nice uppercut from Rampage. Spinning back fist. Nice hook. Oh, nice spinning back fist from Looney Dave. Rampage is in trouble here. Not much time remaining here in the second round. Nice uppercut. Shot to the body now.
here we are back to the action third and final round is up here now you got to think Rampage needs a stoppage here in order to be victorious here tonight against Looney Dave who has been putting on a striking clinic it looked like Looney Dave is now cut open too here nice straight from Looney Dave Nice body kick from Looney Dave. Rampage is in trouble here now. Nice uppercut hook combination sits Rampage up against the cage. Why is Looney Dave letting Rampage off the hook here? I'm not understanding it. She want to get in. Get in and get out. Because shit like that happens, you can get the return rock from Rampage. Rampage is all business here. Nice elbow drops Rampage down, but Rampage gets back up to the feet. What is Looney Dave doing, man? Looking for a pullback counter. Nice knees to the body. Nice leg kick. Takedown from Looney Dave. Didn't do anything with it. Nice shot to the body. Oh! That pullback counter with that hook ends the night for Rampage. And Looney Dave is victorious here tonight. He almost let this fight get away from him. Playing around, not respecting the fighting ability of Rampage. But Looney Dave comes through and gets it done here tonight. See that shot that put the lights out of Rampage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there you have it, Looney Dave is victorious here tonight. Here we go, next fight of the night. El Finesse. I'm just gonna call him Finesse versus D Dizzy here. D Dizzy, the much bigger fighter here tonight. Nice kicks from D Dizzy. on the ground D Dizzy is in half guard now now in full mount is D Dizzy in the dominant position early here in this uh, first round looked like D Dizzy was trying to sink in a choke Nice work from uh, Finesse. Reversing that position. Now D-Dizzy trying to sink in a choke here. But Finesse gets in the half guard now. Now postured up is Finesse. Finesse gets back up to his feet. Nice work from Finesse. Let's see if Finesse can work his game now. D-Dizzy using his reach to his advantage here against a much shorter competitor. Nice push kick from D Dizzy. Body kick now by D Dizzy. Landing kicks over and over here is D Dizzy. Finesse is going to want to start checking those, or that's going to be nasty for him later in this fight. 
Miss with that leg kick. Oblique kick from D Dizzy. Oh, D, uh, D Dizzy is doing a lot of work, uh, damage to that leg here. Definitely going to be looking out for it if this fight progresses. As this fight progresses, I should say. Nice uppercut from D Dizzy. Switching stances now. Ripping shots to the body and another leg kick. D Dizzy just sneaking those leg kicks in there. Finesse is not really paying attention to him. Nice body shot from Finesse. Catching the leg. Nice knee to the head there from D Dizzy. Nice shot from D Dizzy. 10 seconds remaining here in the first round. Second round will be coming up next. Here we go. Second round is underway. You got to think D-Dizzy definitely took that first round. Let's see if Finesse can come back here and take this second round for his own. He's definitely got to make some changes here. He's got to get in. He's got to get in on D-Dizzy. Apply pressure. Nullify that reach advantage that D-Dizzy has. And he's starting to do so here right now. But that oblique kick. It's steady making finesse back up here. But now finesse is staying in staying in tight. Excuse me. That's what he needs to do. Finesse needs to stay in tight. Get his shots off. Keep his guard up. And check those kicks. And finesse is starting to do so here right now. Very looking very much looking. Damn, can I talk? He's looking way better here in this second round than he did in the first. Nice hook there from Finesse. Looked like it might have cut open D. Dizzy. Finesse is starting to get in the timing down of D. Dizzy. Uh, strikes here. Catching the leg. Nice knee from D. Dizzy. D. Dizzy landed to that leg again. Nice one, two from Finesse. Oh, nice slip with that straight from uh, Finesse. Perfect, perfectly timed counter. D Dizzy's in big trouble here, and that is it. Herb Dean pulls finesse off of D Dizzy. Nice comeback from D Dizzy after getting beat up in that first round. Finesse got in tight, did what he needed to do, and came through with the victory here tonight. Nice work from Finesse on picking up his first victory here in his CFC debut. Here we go, moving right along. We have Venom versus Zach. Venom coming out strong here, throwing a lot of uppercuts. Nice slip from Venom. Nice shot to the body from Venom. Nice leg kick from Venom. And I'm trying to land off them combinations. Zach doing a good job of covering up. Zach misses that overhand by a wide margin. Nice pullback counter from Zach. Oh, fighter staying in tight. Oh, that flying knee would have been nasty if that would have landed. Slip there from Venom. Venom starting to evade these strikes here. So is Zach. And fighting in the phone booth here. 
Little fire showing off their boxing. Content when keeping this a boxing match. Nice knee from Zach. Nice hook there from uh, Venom. Not another hook lands. And that dropped Zach down. Zach now has a cut on his uh, face there. Right underneath the eye. Nice slip there from Venom. Venom digging into the body. Nice up double uppercuts there. Flying knee attempt from Zach. Oh! That hook put Zach out cold. Venom used Zach's aggressiveness to his advantage and took him out here early in the first. Nice work from Venom on getting a victory here tonight in the CFC. In a CFC debut here. You see a nice work. You see it again. Nice shot land perfectly for Venom. Showing off that power. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Cobra. And there you have it. Venom is victorious here tonight. Audio Jungle. Here we are back to the action. Make sure y'all stick around tonight because the main event we have Diesel, the CFC champion, the tribal chief, taking on the legend, the icon, the showman, Kane Brozilla himself in the main event tonight. Everything is on the line, everything is up for grabs. So make sure you stay tuned for that later on tonight. Now we have Toxic versus Mamba. Mamba, the CFC veteran here. Toxic is trying to uh, set up a triangle here. Let's see if he can get a nice elbows from Toxic over and over again. Mamba's doing a good job staying composed here on the ground. But he's got to be weary of this... Uh, of this triangle that uh, Toxic is trying to set up here. Landing elbows over and over again. This is not good here for Mamba. Mamba has got to get out of this bad spot. And he does so, but winds up with Toxic in full mount now. Postured up. Landing big strikes. Mamba is already cut open from them elbows from Toxic here. Toxic doing a good job of controlling Mamba on the ground. Postured up here in half guard is Toxic. Moving into side control here. It looked like Toxic is trying to set Mamba up here for another submission attempt. Trying to soften him up. Elbow after elbow over and over again. That cut is looking nasty on Mamba now. So you got to think the doctor is going to be coming in here soon to take a look at that cut because it is bad. Another el uh, more elbows landed. 
Mamba trying to reverse the position to no avail. And Toxic is just having his way here on the ground. Mamba is in complete survival mode now. Toxic is doing a good job controlling Mamba, not getting, not getting over aggressive. Just taking his time, landing his shots. Nice elbow at the end of that from uh from Toxic here. How much time remaining here in the first? First round is in the books, and that was all Toxic. I've just gotten word that Calf Kings is here the official betting site of the CFC. So what are you waiting for? Download the Calf Kings Daily Fantasy app now and bet on your favorite fighters. Here we go, second round underway. Mamba coming right at Toxic here. Mamba knows he needs to come back here and get this round because he took that round. That first round was just all Toxic, man. Just all Toxic. Toxic looking to get this fight back to the ground here where he has a real big advantage over Mamba as we saw in that first round. Now climbing the back, dragging Mamba back to the canvas right where he wants this fight to be. So trying to look like he's trying to sink in the choke here now. But this has been all toxic here so far. Looking to sink in that choke. He's got it in tight here. He's got it in tight. Mamba did a good job of fighting out of it now, but still has toxic on top of him, throwing down big strikes now. Half guard. This toxic Mamba landed strikes from the bottom. Just trying to do whatever to get Toxic off on to, off uh, off of him now. Back up to his feet now. Was looking for that uh flying knee. And drags Mamba back to the canvas. And Toxic is just a superior grappler here. Is on full display here tonight. Nice work from Mambo reversing that position and ended up in full guard now. Back up to the feet. Let's see if Mamba can get anything off here. Nice shots over and over from Toxic. Mamba's in big trouble here. Nice uh, pullback counter. Oh, flying knee now. Mambo coming back here strong. Rocking Toxic. Nice uppercut from Mamba. Mamba is trying, man. He's still game. He's not letting all them takedowns discourage him in this fight. He's not giving up. He's still in this with the striking ability on full display here. The Muay Thai specialist going to work here now on Toxic. It is clear this is a crap, uh, classic striker versus grappler match now. It is very clear. Because Mamba up on the feet. Swaying, popping his shots, getting his combinations off. The toxic grappling ability is just too much for Mamba here right now. But Mamba's trying to hang on strong, and that is a wrap choke sunk in. Mamba had no choice but to tap. Valiant effort. Great work from Toxic getting the victory here tonight. Man. Some very close moments in there for Mamba. But Toxic's grappling was just too much tonight. Uh, full display here. And I think with that, with that win right there, as dominant as he was on the ground, you got to think that Toxin is putting the division on notice here tonight with this performance against a gritty veteran Ladies in Mamba. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 48 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by top out. Due to a rear naked choke. Yes! 
And there you have it. Toxic is victorious here tonight. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy, our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> no, sweet liberty. No. <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah, we are back to the action. We have Chanchi versus Bouncy Plane. We have Matty versus Bouncy Plane here tonight. Full fire staying in tight here. Taking her time. Nice push kick from Chanchi. Nice one two from Bouncy Plane. Chanchi looking to create space. Might be thinking about getting off a kick here is Chanchi. Nice uppercut from Chanchi. Nice straight from Chanchi. Both these competitors are taking their time, trying to get each other's timing down. Trying to get comfortable here in the octagon. Nice leg kick from Chanchi. Nice uppercut from Bouncy Plane here. Bouncy Plane is starting to get more aggressive now. Backing off a little bit now. Chanchi is content with being the counter fighter here. And Chanchi gets rocked. By that strike from Chan, uh, excuse me, Bouncy Plane. Chanchi gets dropped by Bouncy Plane here now. Bouncy Plane is starting to pull away. Chanchi shooting in for a takedown. And he gets it. Nice work from Chanchi. Is switching up the fight here. Well, Bouncy Plane reverses the position and winds up in full guard here. Nice work from Bouncy Plane. Throwing up a submission is Chanchi. Bouncy Plane works his way out of it. Postured up here now in full guard. Nice elbow from the bottom from Chanchi. Uppercut. Nice slip there from Chanchi. Didn't really get to do anything with it, but he got out of the way of that big strike from Bouncy Plane. Nice uppercut hook combination from Chanchi. The 
Good shot to the body. Chanchi looking for a pullback counter. Oh! Nice one, two from Bouncy Plain. Sits Chanchi down here. Chanchi is in big trouble here. Covering up, but that is a wrap. Nice work from Bouncy Plain getting the victory here tonight over Chanchi. There you see it. Chanchi was covering up, but that, man, them strikes, that power from Bouncy Plain was just too much for Chanchi to cover up from. And he goes out and Bouncy Plain walks away victorious here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout one. And there you have it. Bouncy playing is victorious here tonight. Moving right along, we have Volante versus Big Dicks. Big Dicks. Big Dicks has been calling all week saying that if he can get past a competitor like Jay Volante, that he should get someone ranked in the top 10 here in the CFC. Let's see how he does here against Volante. If Big Dicks can pull through in this fight. See if he can make it happen. Volante is a game opponent. Nice leg kick from Dixo. Double leg kick from Dixo here. Double jab. Everything on the double from Big Dicks. Nice uppercut hook combination from Volante here. Stunned little Dicks there for a moment. Shooting in for a single leg. Big scoop takedown slam from Volante. Now in full mount is Big Dicks. Looking for an arm triangle here is Big Dicks. Volante trying to fight out of it, and he does so, reversing the position. Nice work from Volante. Back on his feet now. Nice one-two from Volante. Just looking for that head kick. Nice leg kick from Big Dix. Nice combination from Volante. Has Dix so hurt here. Dix has been getting hit with that same combination here. Oh my God, I almost thought that was it, but Big Dix is still in this fight. Like I was saying, Volante has been hitting, hitting uh, Dix with that combination here. And every time he's landed it, he's dropped Big Dix. Big Dix has got to make an adjustment here. Big, big scoop takedown slam. Inside control now is Dix O. Let's see what he can do with this position here. Looking to sink in a choke is Dixo. Now in full mount here. Now in full mount here is Dixo. Putting on the arm triangle now to Volante. Just submission after submission here. It's looking pretty tight. That's looking pretty tight. Volante struggles to get out of it, but he's still in this fight. He is a very game opponent. Not much time remaining here. In this first round, 10 seconds remaining here as this first round comes to a close here.
one shot, hit the white, eight ball in the park. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, back to the action, second round underway here. Volante had a couple of close calls in that first round. So did Big Dixo. Big Dixo was hurt on multiple occasions himself. Uh, Volante was put in a lot of bad spots. Let's see what happens here in a second. Big Dick still trying to get in the clinch. Nice work of dodging those shots from Volante. DC total strikes landed 55 to 33, 55 in favor of Dix. Nice trip takedown, but Volante gets back up to his feet. Nice knee to the body from Dix. Little Dix shooting in for a tough single leg. Nice work from Volante showing off that takedown defense here. Nice combination from Dixo with Anita to finish it off. Another nice knee from Dixo. The hip toss, but Volante hops right back up to his feet, man. It's like a cat. Cat-like reflexes. Nice knee again from Dixo. Nice leg kick there from Dixo. Dixo is doing a good job of keeping Volante guessing where the strikes are going to be coming from because he's going to the leg, he's going to the body, he's going to the head. He's shooting in for single legs. He just keeps him guessing. Dixo is a true mixed martial artist here, and it's being shown on full display here tonight against Jay Vellante. But Jay Vellante has been showing off his good takedown defense, but you can tell the pressure and the pace of Dixo is starting to wear on Vellante here. Nice overhand from Dixo. Dixo just doing a good job of, of imposing his will. Volante doing a little taunt there. Nice trip takedown. And still hopping up like a cat. Nice head kick from Dixo. Round comes to a close. You see that uh, hip toss from Big Dix. Big Dixie. Big Dixie. And you see it again. Just That's just been a story of this fight, man. Just Dixo just imposing his will. Continuously shooting in for these single legs. Not giving up on them. Making Volante work. And it is starting to pay off for him. Third and final round is here now. Let's see what happens. Nice help. But you got to think that Volante needs a finish to, uh, to be victorious here tonight. You got to think that. Nice leg kick from Dixo. Another nice leg kick from Dixo. That one landed hard. Dixo just taking over now on Volante here. Shooting in for a single leg. Volante still showing off that good takedown defense. 49 strike percentage. Nice uppercut. Sits down Dixo here. And now Volante coming on strong. But does he have the energy he needs to finish off a fighter like Dixo here late in this fight? Where Volante has been working hard. 
Stuffing him takedowns. Nice leg kick again. Just back-to-back -back leg kicks now. Shooting in for another single leg. The takedown defense holds up strong for Volante still here. Looked like Volante was about to go for that uppercut, but that scoop takedown slam from Dixo ending up in side control here. Now in half guard. Back to half guard here is Dixo. Dixo just constantly making Volante work, carry his weight, and just... Just constantly keeping him working, man. Just wearing him out. Wearing him out since the beginning. So from round one to round three here, Dixo has, uh, Dixo has been implementing his game plan very well. Definitely a well-educated fighter is Dixo. Nice work from Volante pushing Dixo off. Back up to his feet now. Volante has to go for broke here and make something happen if he wants to win this fight. Because he is more than likely down on the scorecards. Shooting in for another takedown. Big slam from Dixo. Yeah, back up to the feet here. Nice head kick from Volante. Overhand attempt. Another nice leg kick. Ten seconds, almost ten seconds now remaining here in this third and final round. Not much time left remaining. Nice work, good fight turned in from both these competitors. But Dixo is more than likely walking away with a decision here tonight. Just implemented his game plan very well. Even when Volante stuffed the takedowns, Dixo still put work in on the feet. Just constantly made Volante work, constantly had him thinking about what he was going to do next. And he should walk away with the victory here tonight. Let's find out here. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 29-28, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Russia! And there you have it. Lil Dix is victorious here tonight. Audio Jungle. Here we go. Next fight of the night. We have Verse versus Amigo. Amigo in the black trunks. Verse in the white trunks. Nice one, too, from Verse here. Nice combinations landing already here early from Verse. Verse is just going out here, going... Just everything is just landing for Verse right now. Nice shot from Amigo. Amigo shooting in for a takedown. Verse does a good job stuffing it, landing a body shot there. Nice uppercut from Verse. Nice pullback from Amigo. Nice 
nice uppercut from Amigo. Both these fighters landing here. Nice body shot. Nice straight. Overhand attempt. Omega in trouble there. Looks like he's recovering. Shoot, trying to shoot in for another takedown, but it is stuffed once again by Verse. Verse is a very uh, a very well. Nice double jab from Amigo. Amigo was hurt here again by Verse. Landing the shot to the body is Verse. Nice kick from Amigo. Nice ripping shot to the body from Verse. Verse does a good job of switching it to the body and then the head and body. Yeah, body, head, head, body. Stuffing another takedown. Every time Amigo tries to shoot in for a takedown, Versus right on top of it and stuffs it immediately. Staying in the face, staying in the pocket now of Amigo. Constant pressure from Verse. Amigo is cut open and now Verse is cut open, dropping down as Amigo feeling the power. Feeling the power of Verse now. Nice overhand from a, a Verse. Amigo dropped down to the canvas. Nice slip there. Oh, and that is it. That hook landed perfectly. Put the lights out. Verse is victorious here tonight. Showing a nice battle scar, but still getting the victory here. And you see it again from a different angle. Just landed clean. Right when Amigo dropped his guard, Verse threw that hook out there and it landed perfectly. Dropped Amigo, knocked him out cold, and Verse is victorious here tonight at CFC 50 Calf Mania, the four-year anniversary event of the CFC. Let's go. And there you have it versus Victorious here tonight. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. There we go. Moving right along. We have Clean King Slayer versus Literal Killer. With a name like that, Literal Killer. You must be a literal killer, and we're going to find out here tonight. Step up in competition from a uh, literal killer. Taking on a veteran like Kingslayer here in the CFC. Rolling, uh, rolling for a knee bar here looks like it's Kingslayer. But literal killer reverses the position now. trying to reach down and grab my charger from my laptop because the battery is about to go dead and if it goes dead then this goes dead and this can't go dead because yeah man fights come first everybody knows that back in the business baby back in the business we got the charger plugged in ready to go ready to rock ready to roll baby Kingslayer is trying to get this fight to the canvas. Literal Killer is doing a good job of staying upright on his feet here. Nice flying knee attempt from uh, Literal Killer. Has Kingslayer in trouble. Nice body kick from Literal Killer. Shooting in for a takedown now. This Kingslayer desperately trying to get this fight to the canvas. He feels he has the advantage there on the ground. But Literal Killer is doing a very good job of keeping this fight standing here so far. Nice knees to the head from Literal Killer. Uh, excuse me, Kingslayer. Nice 
Nice knee from King Slayer in that clinch. Nice head kick attempt, nice knee attempt. Middle Killer caught the leg, switching stances now is King Slayer. Nice leg kick from Little Killer. Nice knees to the head from King Slayer. Nice shots, knees to the body now. Nice ripping shots to the body from uh, Little Killer. Head kick lands perfectly. King Slayer ate it though. Nice trip takedown, but Burrell bounces back up to his feet here. And does a little taunt in the process. Literal Killer has got to be careful throwing these flying knees like that over and over again because King Slayer can mess around and time it. Do you see that double knee? Landed perfectly on Kingslayer. I don't know how he took that. He just ate it. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Here we are. Second round is underway. Nice knee, double knee. He landed that in the first and he landed it here early in the second. Literal Killer has picked his preference of knockout. Oh, nice uppercut from King Slayer. And King Slayer drags Literal Killer down to the ground. Nice work from King Slayer of getting this fight where he wants it to be. Let's see what he can do with it here. Nice shots to the body from Literal Killer. Nice body kick from uh, Literal Killer here again. Literal Killer starting to uh, ramp up them combinations here. Still searching for that flying knee. Looking for a pullback counter is King Slayer. Nice uppercut from Literal Killer. It's these long combinations from Literal Killer. Oh! And that uppercut puts King Slayer out cold just out of nowhere. He gets the finish here tonight. Nice work from Literal Killer getting it done here against King Slayer. Putting everyone in this division unnoticed, including the tribal chief. You see that uppercut? It looked like King Slayer was about to duck down and go to the body, but Literal Killer's uppercut met him in the process and put the lights out. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Barrow! And there you have it. Barrow is victorious here tonight. Mm -mm -mm. Don't mind me. I'm just enjoying the liquid gold of the CAF community with a 40% alcohol rate. One and a half ounces of fresh apple juice and containing three ounces of ginger beer. The softest and the smoothest drink in the whole community. If you want to be like Kane Brozilla, drink rich. Drink Torzilla. Out now in all places, the Torzilla show has begun. And it's better with ice. Here we go, next fight underway. 
We have War Daddy versus Russell. De Russell to Hustle. Nice leg kick from War Daddy. Nice overhand from War Daddy. Nice one two from Hustle. Nice combinations from War Daddy here. Oh, nice uppercut from Hustle. Dropped War Daddy down momentarily. Nice leg kick from War Daddy. Another leg kick lands for War Daddy. Nice uppercut again from War Daddy. War Daddy trying to lure, trying to lure Russell in for that pullback counter. Nice shot lander for War Daddy. Nice front kick from Russell. Both fighters taking their time here. Oh, nice head kick from Hustle. Nice body kick. That kick kick busted. War Daddy wide open now. He's got a big gash on his head from eating that shot. Now in half guard, half guard here is Hustle. Nice reversal, reversing the position is War Daddy here. Now in full um, in half guard here. Postured up here, looking to rain down some big shots on Hustle. Do you have it? First round is in the books. And you see the uppercut that landed and dropped War Daddy down to the canvas. There we have a second round is underway. Both fighters start things off with a touch of the gloves. Nice leg kick. Nice pullback counter from War Daddy. Landed that uppercut nicely. Nice spinning back fist from War Daddy. Nice uppercuts from Hustle. Hustle still in this fight, man. You see. Percentage strikes land at 42 to 39. It is still a very close fight. But that spinning back kick to the head dropped Hustle down and cut him open. Now both fighters are cut. Both fighters have something to worry about now. Nice uppercut lands again. Hustle in big trouble here on wobbly legs. War Daddy pressing forward.
Pro Fighter circling around, taking their time here. Knowing that they still have a whole nother round remaining if need be. Nice uppercut from War Daddy. The pace of this fight has slowed down a whole lot here. Oh, War Daddy is in big trouble here. Hustle pressing forward now. Looking to put an end to this. Nice takedown from War Daddy. Let's see what he can do with this position now. Working the half guard position. Postured up here, landing big strikes on Hustle is War Daddy. Doing a good job con controlling War Daddy here. Uh, excuse me. War Daddy doing a good job of controlling Hustle here on the canvas. Ten seconds remaining here in the second round. Third and final round will be coming up next. Do you see that spinning back fist to the head that landed perfectly? I don't know how Hustle is still in this fight after that, but he is still here. Look at that. Just landed perfectly. Dropped him down. Man. Definitely the highlight of that round. Here we go, third and final round. We are getting closer and closer to the prelim headliner of the evening here. And that is King Aztec versus Thomas Randall, the prelim headliner for the evening. And then we switch over to the pay-per-view event of Calf Mania CFC 50, the four-year anniversary event. Started back in March 2020. It is March 2024. And we still here, baby. Let's go, CFC, baby! Postured up here, landing big shots to the head. His war daddy. Hustle is in big trouble here. War Daddy getting a good amount of ground and pound off here. Nice reversal from Hustle. Back up to the feet now. Halfway through this round so far. This third and final round of the night. Nice head kick lands. Oh, nice spinning back kick to the head. Lands perfectly. Hustle is in big trouble here. Let's see if War Daddy can close the show. Nice slip from War Daddy. Nice overhand from Hustle. And now War Daddy is in trouble with that knee landing perfectly. Man, both these fighters, no quit. Neither one of these fighters is back and forth action.
You can tell both fighters want to win here. Nice takedown from War Daddy. Postured up here is War Daddy. Not much time remaining. Let's see if he can get it done. And he does. The late, late finish. Four seconds remaining in the third round. And War Daddy pulls it off. Great fight. Great action. It is finally over. War Daddy gets it done late. Super late in the third round. Four seconds left remaining. War Daddy said, this is not going to the judges. I don't have time for it. I'm going to get this done, and I'm going to get out of here. Nice work from War Daddy getting it done here tonight. Very competitive fight, very even fight. But War Daddy comes out on top here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by TKO Starling. And there you have it. War Daddy is victorious here tonight. Audio Jungle. Welcome back, everybody. We have Jay Jackson versus a bear. This is Jay Jackson's first fight back in the CFC in a very long time. He is making his debut in the PlayStation division here tonight. Let's see what happens. This fight came together on a very short notice. A bear has sent me a message and said he wants to scrap. Jay Jackson has sent me a message and said he wants to scrap too, so it made sense, and we got it here tonight. Let's see these, how these two competitors hold up here tonight. Nice push kick from Jay Jackson. Jay Jackson and the black trunks. Boy, they both in kind of black, but yeah, whatever. Nice one, two from a bear. Nice body kick from a bear. Nice one, two from Jay Jackson. Nice leg kick from Jay Jackson. Nice shot to the body from a bear. Nice front kick. Nice ripping shot to the body from Jay Jackson. Both these competitors content with keeping this fight on the feet here. Jay Jackson showing some bruise, uh, bruising on that shoulder. Nice body kick again from a bear. Bear starting to pile in those body kicks. Jay Jackson. Gonna want to start being aware of that. Nice slips from a bear. Ring rust is not a factor tonight here for uh, for a bear. Still has his timing down good. Jay Jackson misses with that overhand. Nice head kick. Liver shot. 
Nice uppercut from Jay Jackson. Jay Jackson showing bruising now on that side. The rib cage. From all those body kicks from a bear. Starting to take his toll. And that shot to the liver too. A bear's, a bear's mixing up. Nice, nice elbow from a bear. Has Jay Jackson in trouble here. Nice one too. Jay Jackson back up to his feet. But you got to think he is in big trouble. Not much time remaining left here in the first round. And a bear is starting to pull away here. I've just gotten word that Calf Kings is here. The official betting site of the CFC. So what are you waiting for? Download the Calf Kings Daily Fantasy app now and bet on your favorite fighters. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, second round underway. After that first round, Jay Jackson was hurt by a bear. Let's see how he recovers here in the second round. Jay Jackson showing wear and tear from that first round. Rocking a cut on his face. Nice shot to the body. Nice elbow again. That same combination land perfectly from a bear that hurt Jay Jackson in the first. And it hurt him again here in the second. A bear with a knee. Jay Jackson covering up. Still firing back his Jay Jackson. Oh, nice overhand from Jay Jackson. Jay Jackson returning fire here. Rocking a bear. The bear still in this fight. So is Jay Jackson. Jay Jackson putting a bear on notice, letting him know that he is not out of this fight just yet. Oh, nice head kick from a bear. Jay Jackson in big trouble here. Again, nice uppercut. Sits Jay Jackson up against the cage. Now in full mount is a bear postured up. Raining out big shots on Jay Jackson, and that is it. TKO victory for a bear. He gets it done here tonight in his return to the CFC. Nice work from a bear. And you see that nasty uppercut. Right when Jay Jackson moved, moved to his side, that uppercut was waiting on him. Here you go right here. Right when he stopped moving, bam. Hit him flush on the chin. Put him out up against the cage. Follow-up shots. Putting him in full mount. And getting the job done here tonight. A bear doing good on his return to the CFC here tonight at CFC 50 Calf Mania, baby. Woohoo! Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO the Great. And there you have it, a Bears victorious here tonight. Here we go, the last matchup before the prelim headliner. We have a grudge match here tonight. Perp versus the Immortal Cholo. These two have been barking at the bit to get a hold of each other, to get each other in this cage. And here tonight, what better event to have it on than Calf Mania itself? Let's see what happens. Perp has been doing a good job of taking out Cholo's teammates. Cholo is tired of it, and he's coming out here for revenge here tonight. But that flying knee has put Cholo on notice. Cholo is backing up now, trying to create space. To knock those cobwebs loose. Nice push kick from Cholo. Nice body kick from Cholo. Perp staying in tight here, making this a dirty fight. Cholo is trying to... Is trying to uh, create space and make this more of a technical fight. Perp just wants to brawl and get in there and get this done with. Nice one, two from Cholo. Nice pop of the jab from Cholo. Using that range finder. Nice overhand from Cholo. Nice straight. Nice one, two from Cholo. Nice one, two return from Perp. Both these fighters are both landing good shots here in this first round. The way these two are fighting, this will not be going the distance. It is too much bad blood here in this fight. And both these competitors are going to be looking for the finish here tonight. Nice 
Nice slip with that flying knee. Nice combination to the body from Cholo. Showing off that boxing. With that quick takedown, trip takedown. Just use that to throw off Purple a little bit to keep him guessing. Make him think he wants to grapple. Now a Purple is coming back with the uppercut. Posture up, knee on the belly. Raining down big shots. Cholo has to cover up, but it is too late. And Perp gets the job done here tonight. And in the grudge match, up next, we have Aztec versus Randall, the prelim headliner. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Perp was just too much for the immortal, immortal Cholo here tonight. Then you see him postured up, knee on the belly, busted Cholo all open, and put him out cold on the canvas. Do you see the blood leaking all over the cage? Audio Jungle. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity. Liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy. Our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <gasps> no! Sweet liberty! No! <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. Thomas Randall returning here tonight, the prelim headliner for the evening. This guy has taken on a who's who, up and coming contender here in the CFC. Had a big fight against Hendricks. He lost that fight, but he's coming back here tonight to get this one in against King Aztec, a CFC veteran. Stiff, tough competition to come back to. But that's what Thomas Randall wanted. He wants to get right back in there with the big dogs and go right back to the top where he was at. Get in the mix for that belt. And we're going to find out right now if Thomas Randall can take out King Aztec. Here tonight at CFC 50 Baby Calf Mania.
There you have it, King Azteca. Interesting choice of music. Shout out to the Brood, one of the best groups in the Attitude Era. Here you have a King Aztec returning here tonight at CFC 50 for Calf Mania, baby. A legend in the fight game. This guy has been a multiple-time title challenger, but just never made it quite to the championship level. But this guy is no slouch anywhere. He's good on the ground, and he's superior in the striking department. This will most definitely be a stand-up battle between two striking specialists. And we're going to see who's going to come out on top here right now in this prelim headliner. After this, the main the main card goes live. So here we go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, live. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Assassin! You ready to fight? Ready? Let's do it! Here we go, first round underway. King Aztec versus Thomas Randall. Thomas Randall, a modern day fighter here in the CFC. King Aztec, a OG. Two contrast to times here in the CFC going at it. To see who comes out on top. Will Thomas Randall spoil the return of King Aztec? Or will King Aztec put Thomas Randall down on her downward spiral here in the CFC? It's make or break right here for this fight for Thomas Randall. You got to think all the pressure is on him right now and not King Aztec. Thomas Randall staying in tight. Thomas Randall is known for his pressure. He's known for breaking fighters mentally and also with his fist in there. So we're going to see if King Aztec can hang in there. But like I said before, King Aztec is no slouch in the striking department. This man is uh, the top of the game with his stand-up abilities. Looking for that famous axe kick that King Aztecs likes to throw. You got to think that Thomas Randall has been watching tape on that. And he's got a good game plan against it tonight. But we will find out. Nice pullback counter from Randall. Had hurt. Had hurt King Aztec there for a second. Looking for that pullback counter again is, is Thomas Randall. King Aztec is being super aggressive. I guess he's trying to match match the energy of Thomas Randall because Thomas Randall just came out and got right in Aztec's face. Aztec is usually a counter fighter, but he's letting he let that pressure that pressure of Thomas Randall get in his head, and now he's just starting to starting to throw them big shots out there. And it looked like King Aztec is cut open here already in this first round. Nice body shot, body kick, excuse me, axe kick from King Aztec. Thomas Randall just eats it. Nice combination. Thomas Randall is doing a good job of catching King Aztec as soon as he comes in to try to throw off a combination. And he's popping him every time he comes in. Looked like Aztec was trying to switch up. Nice uh, head movement from Aztec there. It's definitely wise for King Aztec to uh, to change up the game plan here and, and shoot for a takedown. I would like to see him shoot again and maybe try to complete this takedown instead of throwing it out there. Nice spinning elbow, spinning back elbow from Randall. Nice slip there from King Aztec. First round is in the books. King Aztec was definitely in big trouble. But what I liked it to see was I liked it to see that King Aztec was still in it. His eyes were still in the fight. As you can see, he was dodging a lot of those shots after he got rocked. Here you see that spinning back elbow. They landed perfectly on the chin. I'm surprised that did not put King Aztec out. He's still in this fight, but he is all cut up and busted up.
Here we go. Second round is underway. And this is the prelim headliner, Thomas Randall Hurton, King Aztec early here at the gate. As I was saying, this is the prelim headliner. After this fight, we will be moving on to the main card. Nice elbow from King Aztec, changing the tide here of this fight. Nice hip toss. Judo throw from uh from Aztec here. Aztar, a I said Aztar. Aztec working in the half guard of Thomas, Thomas Randall's half guard. Looking to get full mount, and he does controlling the posture here of Thomas Randall. You got to think he's going to want to posture up and get some shots off here. Landon short hammer fist. Thomas Randall getting back full guard here. King Aztec gets up and lets uh, Randall back up to his feet here. I don't know if that was a good idea. Nice combination from Randall. Aztec is hurt here once again. But as we saw in that first round, Aztec gets hurt. But his eyes are still in the fight. He's still in the fight. His head is still clear. He's dodging a lot of those shots. Hurt here again. Nice hook. Landed some big shots, and that is it. King Aztec has been taken out by Thomas Randall, and Thomas Randall gets back in the win column here in the CFC. Like I said before, this was basically do or die for Thomas Randall, a make or break fight, and he fucking made it in spectacular fashion here, being super aggressive and just did not let Aztec off the hook. Once he saw them cut, saw that blood, he just stayed on him. And he gets the victory here. Gets a big victory over a veteran like King Aztec. You got to think, like, the sky's the limit for this kid right now after getting back in this win column. It'll be interesting to see what fight he takes next. But right now, let's take it to take the good old boots. Seven seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout. And there you have it. Thomas Randall is victorious here tonight. And we'll see you all back on the main card live. It is the bad man, and I will be returning right here. Go grab your drinks. Let's go. My mind is scaring me right now. Somebody's shining a little light down. Yo, this is a leap of faith I got heart, you can count on that It's all mind over matter When you hit rock bottom, you yeah, gon' bounce right back Pick yourself up, bit dust of yourself off onto the main car And you start right from now. ground zero And if you need any help, be just bad. believe in yourself You are your own hero Look at your cape in the wind Everything you do is cinematic Light speed through time and space And with a pinch of magic, you can rip the fabric But I guess it all starts with you Cause getting here was pretty hard to do There's pitfalls and brick walls But when you know there's no spoon, it's pretty hard to do so. Hit the white, eight ball in the pocket, winning right, winning. well, look at what Charlie did, I can't build my dream in this party, bitch, cause life is like a race, but then you get a little patient, have a bender and you fall and you were tripping on your lace, this is my life, and I don't like to cuss y'all, but everyone here can go politely fuck off, here's what I should do, good food do, hit the surf, it'll put me in a good mood, if I, if I believe I can achieve, trying to be the best version of me that I can be, so remember, when your thoughts are wild, only you hold the key to unlock your smile, do I keep the fight up, best bet I do, it means the world that I found a best friend like you, come on.
fuck with me. Why not? the last time? Like, is, is something I missed? Is funny? Yeah, man. What's up, nigga? Check me. Check me. Oh, okay. You, you sure about that? Welcome Let's back, ladies contact. and gentlemen. The bad man Jose yeah, is here. We got TR1 walking out here tonight, opening this main card against Something Jackson Mobilo. Really this guy has been tearing it up. Really up. Really up. The CFC after the dark scene. His yeah. only yeah. loss was against you know, Machete, really who is the hitman. Haven't watched that yet. Make sure you tune in for that. This guy is a well-rounded public TR1 and if he can get a win tonight over a guy like Jackson Murillo, a CFC veteran, known to being bangers at all times and everyone in his fights, he can take out a guy like Jackson Murillo, it will do wonders for his career. Right now, we have the brawling, sprawling Jackson Murillo. Jackson Marillo walking out now. The ultimate warrior. The ultimate brawling machine. The gladiator himself, Jackson Marillo. Killed or be killed. This man just does not care. He is for the fans, by the fans. Man, just, just anytime this guy fights, you know it's going to be a banger. Win or lose. You can never go wrong putting Jackson Marillo on a card. And what better card, what better way to have a Jackson Marillo fight than opening up the main card for CFC 50 Calf Mania, baby? Let's go. Let's see what happens here. These two are these two are about to get at it immediately, man. I'm telling you. We're about to see him slugging. About to see him slug it out here. Controlled chaos. Hopefully, it's controlled chaos. Nice axe kick from Marillo. Marillo going right out of here. That's what I was saying, man. This guy, guy does not mess around. He goes straight to business. He ain't got time to be staying in the cage all day. He's trying to get in and get out. He's trying to get paid and get laid. Get back to the hotel and get laid. Hopefully, it's with his wife, though. Oh, he's married. Jackson Marillo's got to be careful. TR uh, TR one is a very good counter striker, as we saw on the after dark scene. This man has very good counters. Do you see them slips? A very good boxer is TR. Nice axe kick from TR. Marillo was hurt here. Nice overhand as well from TR. TR looking calm and sharp here. And what and what is very well his second biggest fight here in the CFC. His first one was against Bachete. It didn't go so well for him. But right now he's looking to get back in the win column here against Jackson Marillo. And he's making Jackson Marillo pay for throwing the same strike back to back. You cannot do that against a guy like TR1. Who is a very skilled boxer here. TR1 doing a good job of controlling the distance. Coming in. Getting his shots off and getting out of the way of Marillo's. We got a little jiggy jag there in the stream. I don't know why, but it was there. Nice slip there again. Oh, nice head kick. Marillo snuck that one in there. He was so used to Marillo just throwing that one-two out there. And then Marillo added a little sauce, added a little pizzazz on it, and threw the head kick up there. And that one went through. That's that's the shot that counts when you double it up, trip, triple it up. The third one is usually the one that land. Third or the fourth one. Nice kick from TR1. Dropped Marillo, but Marillo hopped back up to his feet here. A spinning back kick. Nice front kick to the face from Marillo. Nice hook from Marillo. 
Murillo doing a better job of getting out and getting uh, getting his shots off himself and getting out of the way. Ten seconds remaining here in the first round. Second round will be coming up next. Who would have thought? Who would have thought this, this fight would go to the second round? Because I, I was thinking that it was going to be over in the first round. But here we are going to the third, uh, excuse me, second round. You see the fight stats. 12 significant strikes landed to 10. Marillo had the significant strike advantage here. Two, two, uh, two wobbles. Yeah. Marillo landed more of the strikes, but Marillo was the only one that was knocked down. The placement of the strikes, the precision, the precision of TR1 was on display. It's full display. Just letting, let, he's letting Marillo do his thing, playing into Marillo. Marillo's playing into TR1's game plan here, and Marillo is in big trouble. That head kick was partially blocked, but it still took down Marillo. X kick by Marillo. Nice hook there from TR1. Ripping shots to the body. Throwing him elbows was Marillo, but TR1 still coming forward, catching a leg to Marillo. Marillo firing it back. TR1 is doing a good job of staying composed. He's not getting overconfident and just going in all crazy against a guy like Marillo because you can't do that. Because soon as you do, Marillo will put your lights out. And TR1 knows that, so he's doing what he needs to do here to come out on top. Nice head kick from Rilla. Nice flying knee from TR1. Nice leg kick. TR1 pressing, pressing forward, pushing the pace here on Marillo. Oh, nice elbow. Step in elbow. Knocks Marillo out cold. And TR1 is back in the win column. Taking out the veteran, the brawler, and Jackson Marillo. That's going to be good on his resume, taking out a guy like Marillo. Do you see it again? Stepped in with that elbow, dropped Marillo instantly. And that was it. That was all she wrote. Like I said, kill or be killed mentality. And there you have it. TR1 is victorious here tonight. Make sure you uh, keep an eye on him. Uh, up and coming contender here in the CFC. Negotiations fell through with the Jay Jackson fight. Chet, they said he did not give a damn who he was fighting here tonight. Just give him somebody. And Belfort answered the call. So you know what Chet they did. He loaded up them blocks. He put on that tux. Getting in here tonight. Do work. Chet they is a man. Outstanding competitor. This guy takes on anyone, anytime, anywhere, and who epitome me of the BM mentality. He embodies it. And we're rocking here tonight in this cage against the returning Belfort. David Belfort, Leroy, LaRux, Belfort making her his return here tonight in the CFC. We have not seen LaRux in a very long time in the CFC. 
the Rucks went away, made some noise on the regional circuit. Now he, she is back here. Prime time, CFC baby, trying to make it happen. Against the head man, let's see what happens here. This should be a very good competitive fight. Belfort says he's going to make easy work of Machete. We're about to find out here tonight what happens when these two are locked in. We got them gloves loaded. Machete trying to touch gloves, but we all know that Belfort has no kind of sportsmanship. You see that front kick from uh, Machete. So the people that don't really know, Belfort, like a uh, nice flying knee from Bachete here. Look at the Hitman going right to work. Oh, and now uh, Hitman is hurt. Leroy, Lerux pressing forward. Nice knee from Lerux. The thing about both these competitors, they are both very aggressive. So we kind of knew this was going to happen. They were going to get straight to the point, straight to business. Straight to rock 'em, sock 'em robots. That's what we have here. Nice knee from the Hitman. Hitman staying in tight. Larux pressing forward, landing that nice combination to the body. Oh, nice kick, crane kick, and uppercut. Now showing out is Larux. Nice body kick, another body kick. The thing about Larux, Larux throws strikes from every every different angle so it's hard to time it's hard to guess what do you think Larux is going to throw because uh he's she's constantly throwing crazy stuff at all times totten up and that oh my god just took the hitman out cold did Larux Larux gets the victory here tonight man both of them just came in and got straight to it Larux came out on top here Letting it be known that LaRux is back here in business. LaRux has her eye, his eye set on the tribal chief. He's let it been known multiple times here. And I think with a victory over the hitman like that, you got to think that LaRux has put the division on notice. A great signing. A great return. And LaRux Belfort with Ladies a busted and mouth. Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Belfort. And there you have it. LaRux is victorious here tonight and her return to the CFC. it the CFC legend the last title holder for the middleweight division Andrew Bisbing is back here tonight taking on Smoke Hendricks Andrew Bisbing wants to smoke Smokey's gonna bring it here tonight definitely a a high quality high competitive matchup here tonight a win for either one of these guys will put them right back right back in the mix for a title shot against yours truly, the Tribal Chief, who will be headlining this amazing event here tonight. Calf Mania, baby, the main event, Brozilla, Diesel, your Tribal Chief will be going head-to-head. -head. But right now, we got the CFC legend and Hall of Famer. I'm taking on this man right here, Smoke Hendricks. Smoke Hendricks coming out now, making his way down to the cage. 
looking to take on one of the toughest competitors he has come to face with besides the tribal chief himself here in the CFC. Like I said before, a win for either one of these guys will do wonders. It will put the them right back in the mix. And for Smoke specifically, a win over Hendricks in style. Dramatic fashion to put him right back in title contention with a victory here tonight over the legend and all of Famer, Andrew Bisbee. Vice versa, both these competitors have a strong case for it. But we're going to find out right now who wants it, who came here, who came here to, to bang and clang and bang, baby, clang and bang. Old fighter showing respect. Nice leg kick from Bisbing early on. For those that don't know Andrew Bisbing, he is a CFC Hall of Famer, the last middleweight champion in CFC history. His style of fighting, he he will he'll figure out your game plan in the first round, throw a couple of things out there, download the data. And then just slowly get to work, slowly taking you out of your game plan. And then you know you are getting 30, 27 on the scorecards. And Andrew Bisbing will be victorious. But Smoke Hendricks knows this. Smoke Hendricks is no slouch in there. And he's going to look to stop Bisbing from implementing his game plan here tonight and implementing his own. But we're about to see what happens. Nice knee. A sneaky knee from uh, Smoke Hendricks. Smoke Hendricks is a very crafty striker in there. Nice uppercut from Bisbing. Bisbing really focusing on that uppercut. Nice leg kick from Bisbing. I like how Bisbing is coming in and throwing that leg kick out there quick. He's not winding up on it. He's just popping it out there. Just adding up the damage on that leg, which will definitely pay off for Bisbing if he keeps it up. Nice pullback counter with that elbow from uh, Hendricks. Nice shot to the body. Nice push kick from Hendricks. Keeping Bisbing at bay. Hendricks is probably looking to load up one of those head kicks. Nice uppercut. Creating space there again. Shooting in for a takedown is Bisbing. Hendricks does good work of staying up on his feet. This man's takedown defense is second to none here. It is very hard to get him down on the canvas, and it is very hard to keep him there if you do get him there. Both these fighters staying in tight now. Nice leg kick from Hendricks. Bisbing loading up on that overhand. Nice elbow uppercut. Bisbing is, oh, up kick by uh, Bisbing. Called Hendricks getting uh, overzealous. Made him pay with that up kick. You got to be careful with a guy like Bisbing standing or laying down in front of you. Because you never know what he will pop you with. Shooting in for another single leg. And it is stuffed once again by Hendricks. Nice shot there from Hendricks. Excuse me, Bisbing. Spin an elbow attempt from Hendricks. 10 seconds remaining here in the first round. First round is in the books. Second round is coming up next. Bisbing rocking a cut underneath his uh, on his cheek there, underneath his eye. It's in a good spot, but Bisbing still needs to still needs to keep his guard up from keeping that to keep that cut from getting worse. Nice uppercut there, as you see in that hook. That pop Bisbing right when he was going down, and then that uh that up kick from Bisbing too. I don't even I don't know if they'll show it on the replay, but right here is when he threw up that up kick and caught Hendricks. Hendricks lucky he didn't get slept himself from uh, rushing in like that. Here we go, second round is underway. Both these competitors touch gloves and get right back to work here, circling around, taking their time. Nice body kick from Bisbing. Nice ripping shot to the body from Bisbing. Bisbing is focusing a lot on that body. Nice hook. Nice combination from Hendricks. Nice hook again from Hendricks. I'd like to see Bisbing go back to the grappling. Even if he doesn't get it, just the constant thought of 
That shot coming will keep will keep Hendricks thinking. Shooting in again here is Bisming. Let's see if he can get it. Nope, doesn't get it. Like I said before, Hendricks uh, takedown defense is second to none here. Again, it is stuffed. His, uh, and uh, Hendricks doing a good job of staying up right on his feet. You got to think, uh, right now, uh, Hendricks is starting to pull away from Bisbing and the striking department. If he can't get this fight to the ground, it's going to be a long night for Bisbing, it looks like. Bisbing is hurt here once again. And a nice combination is Hendricks. Hendricks staying in tight now. Oh, nice hook! Caught Bisbing slipping the same way twice. Now postured up. Ran it on big shots. Bisbing doing a good job covering up here. Grabbing a hold of Hendricks, nullifying the attack. Hendricks wisely gets back up to his feet. That was very good on Hendricks. So stand this back up. Nice uppercut. Bisbing is in big trouble here up against the cage. Oh, nice elbow. Throwing down that elbow is Hendricks. Postured up, landing big shots, and that is a wrap. Hendricks gets it done here in the second round, taken out. The former middleweight champion, Andrew Bisping. There you see that nasty elbow. That's two fights in a row. Well, not in a row, but isn't it? Oh, yeah, a row. Two fights in a row. That step in elbow. No, oh, not two fights in a row. The first one, uh, TR did that uh, step in elbow, I believe. I think that was him. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was him. A step in elbow. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO Prime Time. And there you have it. Smoke Hendricks is victorious here tonight. It's going to be interesting to see who he fights next. we go baby it is title fight time the first title fight underway here tonight the European title will be on the line and it is a rematch from their first outing Khalil Gilroy did not come out victorious in the first attempt to take the gold off of Luke Kelly but he is looking to right his wrongs here tonight he is looking looking to correct that fight here tonight looking to change history looking to rewrite history looking to make history himself by becoming the second ever European champion here in the CFC there's only been one champion for the European title and that is the man himself Luke Kelly who Khalil will be rematching here tonight you got to think this grappling specialist Khalil Gilroy will be looking to implement his Khabib like takedowns here tonight against the champ himself and there you have it the man the man to be the man to beat the man you want to see Luke Kelly the European champion this will be the second fight between these two gentlemen. The first fight, Luke Kelly came out on top. Luke Kelly is looking to prove here tonight that that first fight was no fluke, and he's looking to seal the deal here tonight by making it 2-0 against Khalil. We're about to find out what happens here tonight. Let me know in the comments below. Support your bro. Who do you got, Luke Kelly or Khalil? Let me know in the comments below. Team Kelly or Team Gilroy? And here we go. First round is underway. Both fighters touch gloves and get right out of here. Meeting in the middle. Nice uppercut. On the 
on paper, you would have to think that Luke Kelly is the far superior striker between the two. And that Gilroy is the better grappler. This is a classic striker versus grappler matchup. It'll be interesting to see when uh, Khalil will implement his, his takedowns here in this fight. Look at that fast combination from Luke Kelly. The hand speed is there tonight, folks. He did not come to play. He took this fight very seriously, as I'm pretty sure both these competitors have. This is the second fight between the bunch. Luke Kelly won the first fight, second fight to be determined here tonight. Oh, nice hook. Has Luke Kelly in trouble? Uppercut now. Luke Kelly is in big trouble, all busted up and cut open. Nice knees from, from uh, Khalil here. Khalil is not messing around. He's been saying it all week that his time is now that he's going to right this wrong here tonight here at Calf Mania. And what a night it would be for Luke Kelly if he could take out, excuse me, for Khalil, if he could take out Luke Kelly and vice versa. But the champ is in trouble here right now, just taking a beating from Khalil. Khalil was all business tonight. You got to think this man has been thinking about Luke Kelly Ever since that loss, he's worked his bait way back up to the top here. Nice spinning elbow. Luke Kelly's in big trouble. Posture up now on top. Landing down big ground and pound. Luke Kelly needs to cover up. And that is a wrap. A dominant performance on the way to championship gold for Khalil. He didn't even have to use his wrestling, his bread and butter. He didn't even have to use it tonight. He used that striking. I said striking. He used that striking. Just completely caught Luke Kelly off guard. I don't think Luke Kelly thought that Khalil was going to come out here and strike with him. He was expecting a grappling match. And Luke Kelly, uh, excuse me, Khalil switched it up. And decided to stand up with Luke Kelly and just went to town. Complete domination from Khalil, man. Uh, who, who, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, should there be a third fight? Let me know, chat. Should there be a third fight? It's hard to say with a performance like that, but you got to think the tie needs to be broken now as Khalil is the new European champion. European champion of the world. Khalil Gilroy is victorious here tonight. Congrats, champ. I'm going to go backstage and make somebody happy. Enjoy the spoils of victory here tonight. It's going to be interesting to see. Oh man. 
man. If you ain't got goosebumps, you ain't alive, baby. When Kane is in town, you know it's about to go down. What a fight week to have. You have the legend, the icon, the man to be, Kane Rosilla, the BMF champion. And he will be taking on the tribal chief, Rick Diesel. Everyone is counting this man out in this fight. And you know that's when Kane Rosilla performs the best when everyone doubts him. This man has been all focus, all go for this match. He has been taking it very seriously. And we're about to find out what happens here tonight. Kane Rosilla takes on Rick Diesel. He talks like he's going to go out there and walk away right through me. Like he's going to hit me with something I ain't never been hit with before. Like he's going to show me something I ain't never seen before. But he's not the first person that thought that. Everybody that stacked up against me thought the same thing. And I sent them all packing. When that cage door locks behind us, and it's my will versus his will, he's going to understand why I sit at the top of the CFC, why I am the tribal chief, why I am the head of the table. He's going to learn that there's levels to this, and I have levels above him. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to murder. This is not going to be a war. This is going to be a slaughter. There you have it. Put your wands in the air and acknowledge your tribal chief, Rick Diesel as he begins to make his walk down to his ring, his stadium, his fans, his arena. And there you have it, Rick Diesel, the tribal chief. Everyone likes to get on this man because he doesn't like to talk a lot. Where he does his talking is in that cage, and in that cage he talks the best out of everyone in the business because this man has not been beaten in over 365 plus days. Everyone is still trying to figure out how to dethrone the tribal chief. When everyone knows his game plan, everyone knows his bread and butter. It is that ground game. It is those submissions. It is that arm bar. It is that triangle. It is that Kimura. It is that knee bar. It is that everything. This man is well-rounded. And he is the man to beat here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, the gorilla. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Assassin. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go. It is main event time. Baby Kane Brozilla rushing out the gate. The tribal chief was throwing up the one. Who you got? Let me know in the comments below. Are you team tribal chief or are you team Brozilla, the underdog here tonight? Styling and profiling. Nice slip there from the Tribal Chief ripping shots to the body, body of Kane Brozilla. Kane Brozilla has got to be careful and not let Rick Diesel get a hold of him, which he did here. This is this is very bad for Brazilla. This early in the fight, both fighters are still dry. Haven't had a chance to really sweat yet. 
So this is just all bad for Brozilla right now. He's got to do whatever he can to get out of this spot. But usually when he gets fighters on the ground, it's usually all she wrote after that. But let's see what happens here. Let's see. Let's see how Kane has been training using his time to prepare for this fight. Now looking for arm triangle. Got a halfway sink in there. On Brozilla, wrenching it tighter. Pressing down tighter on it, man. This could be it right here. This could be it. That's all nice work from Kane Brozilla to hold on to get out of that bad spot. But he is still not out of the gate yet, like I said before. When this man gets a hold of you on the ground, he's just throwing up everything. He's trying to, he's trying to get you out of there. He wants you to quit. He wants you to tap out. He wants you to acknowledge him as your tribal chief. As all of you should who are watching, this is your tribal chief. And you are in the acknowledgement class right now. Cambo's a little with a nice uppercut. A kick attempt from Brozilla. Nice uppercut. Brozilla catching a leg. Nice knee from Rick Diesel. Kane pushing up, uh, applying pressure here on, on the champ, Rick Diesel. Switching stance now is Brozilla. Looking for that step in elbow. Nice uppercut. Rick Diesel looking for that pullback counter. Nice elbow shooting in for another take. The pulls guard. Smart move. From the tribal chief Rick Diesel, smart guard and pull, uh, smart by pulling guard on Kane Brazilla. Now, oh my God, he has him in side control with the Kamora locked in. Man, this is not good for Brazilla, and that is a wrap. Rick Diesel gets the tap, and he is still your tribal chief, man. It's just, I say this after everyone has fights. Who? Who can hang with this man in the cage? He has taken out everybody. He has taken out Menace Compton. He has taken out Kane Brozilla now. He has taken out Smoke Hendricks. He has taken out the former Xbox champion, Lee Bermudez. It's like, who, man? Who? Who out there can challenge this man? Who can give him a fight? It is to be seen. Man, we are watching something special before I before our our, our eyes if I can talk. Has a stop to this contest at 4 minutes 23 seconds of the very first round. You claim the winner by tap out and new And there you have it. Rick Diesel is still your tribal chief. A valiant effort from Kane Brozilla. Much respect to the BMF champion always down to put up a good fight in a scrap. You already know how he gets down. Win or lose, Kane Brozilla is still the man. But right now, the night belongs to the Tribal Chief. It has been a good show. It has been one. CFC 50, Calf Mania, baby. The first Calf Mania ever. We will be doing plenty more of these. But we will catch you all next time. Peace. Batman is out.